all right so we already had our pre setup completed with all the best practices and configuration which we need to do whenever you want to use the request library in our python project right so last time we saw our configuration being completed this is our configuration which we did so today we'll see that how do we make a get request uh, using the request module in python to any rest api right so what we can do is we can just create a file named get.py and okay let's start from the scratch and get rid of this code which we this code we had written in our last tutorial but yeah we'll we'll start from the scratch so first thing which we need to do is just import the request library also we need to import the config which we created all right so for the to use the request library we need to import it right and to use this configuration we need to import the file all right so since we have imported it now what we can do is we should know our url okay to which we want to make a get request so how can you get the url you can say config.users all right so you remember this is our function it will return us this particular path right to our uh, user details so if we just print the value of url and let's just run this program just to check we are getting our required value so okay so see see, see we are getting our url and to this particular url whenever we will make a call we will get the list of users so in the postman also we can verify that so if you just make a call to it you will get a list of users all right so let's just use python for it so what we can do is you can say r is equal to request module dot get so get is a function in request module and using this function uh, you can make a call you can make a get call to any rest api so first parameter you need to pass is the url to which you want to make a call uh, you definitely need to pass other parameters as well whenever you need but as of now we will stick to this one only and let's just 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 print the value of r okay let's just see what is r right now so let's just run it again and we are seeing that okay response 200 all right uh, just before going deep into it just understand that it represents the object and the status code so uh, the uh, the the r is a response kind of object and the status code is 200 which generally means uh, status okay which means that if you see the postman also you will get a status 200 okay it means we get got our response right so how do we retrieve our response so there are different methods to retrieve our response but let's just do go step by step okay so first let's see how do we get the status code right so we just need to say print r dot status underscore code right uh if we just run this program we see 200 so we know that 200 is our status code apart from just directly printing r right okay uh next what we can do is we need to know the response right so what we can say is r dot text once we have this uh, and we run our code you will get the response right uh, but if you will check the type of this response you will see its string right so you will see type and you will see definitely you will see string class str right but how do we get it in in a particular uh, json form right if you see postman you are getting it in json right but definitely you have other options as well text so this text was something which we are getting from dot text but what we'll we do is we'll say r dot json right and now if we'll run it okay, okay we need to call it that's a method we need to call it right we got a list we got the list of responses uh, and if we just see the value of it you will see the list of response right so this is what we have got in json form earlier when we just written it like r.text we got it in string form this particular output we got it in string form but if we write it as r.json it will give us a well formatted json right now this is done what we can do more is in this particular get call is we can say r.content now what does r.content do let's see if you run it let me just clear it and let's just run it 
see we are getting the same response but you see this b is just prefix to it it represents that this particular response is in binary form right now okay so if you want to get a binary response you just say r dot content if you want want to a text want a string response you say r dot text right uh, and if you want a json response you just say r dot json so these are the common response types which you will definitely need um, some more operations which we can perform are like uh, can uh, see this r dot json returns us a list so some operations like if we just find it the length of it so we'll say okay it's 10 right so it means we have got total 10 users when we just you know hit this particular endpoint right so this is how we get the responses in different formats and this is how we make a get call to a particular rest api one more thing just a small thing which i will just like to show you if you say r dot url right you will get the url value the url which you fed to it so definitely uh, this will be useful whenever you are adding other parameters like other query parameters so in the later tutorials we will see how do we add the query parameters but as of now we will stick to this point only and next time we will see how do we make a post call alright so we will see you in the next time